What is up guys, we're back with another video over here on the second channel. This video is actually, yes, you, you did click the video correctly. This is a, actually a gear set guide, my gear set guide for the newly released Explosure. Uh, and a strategy guide. Pretty much everything I've learned from using the weapon over pretty much the past week. Um, you guys will be seeing this uh, probably, I don't know, sometime next week. But the weapon has already been on a week. Um, pretty much been using it off and on so I'll give you guys pretty much everything you guys want to know my set I'm gonna be going over my entire set as you see on the screen um, stuff like that so if you guys do enjoy more and you want more videos like these in the future show some support by dropping a like that only re only really just helps me out and helps the channel out in general if you are new if you want more videos like this in the future or if you just like my content and enjoy what you're seeing drop a like down below and subscribe that'd be great really really helps me out. I'm gonna get right into this. Uh, yes, this is a video for the Explosure, even though the tri slosher is right here. Um, I use a site called loadout.inc, which hasn't been updated in ages, guys. Um, I just wanted to use a slosher that had the same uh, special power. It is The Explosure does have a 190 special point power, and uh, the, I could have used, I guess they could have used the, tri or the uh, sloshing machine as well, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so the numbers might be a bit different on the side, but from what I've seen, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, I'll be going over everything in the video. Um, I'm going to go over my set first, uh, and pretty much what I think of the Explosure so far. Uh, the Explosure, out of all the Sloshers, has to be the slowest fire rate of Sloshers. It is a 3-hit KO in direct, uh, and I think it is a 2-hit KO uh, direct, I think it is. So. I mean, if, if you can get three uh, indirects uh, from like far away and you're good at getting directs, say you're like a blast player like me and you're used to getting directs most of the time, or directs or indirects, doesn't really matter. Um, I think if you're a blaster man and you play primary blasters, I think the Explosure is a very, very good weapon to use, uh, especially if you play like um, Rapid Blaster Pro uh, or if you play like Rapid Blaster, which is currently really, really meta and you're really good with blasters and uh, pretty much kind of mid-range to long-range range blasters. I think the Explosure, which is also kind of long-range, the longest range I think of any slosher in the slosher class, I think you'd pretty much do it pretty well. I wouldn't say you'd be the best at the weapon, it does take some practice. I, I'm not going to like, use the weapon that much because I really don't care for the weapon, honestly. Um, I just wanted to use it to get a good feel, so I had an accurate reading for this video. That's why you've been using on and off over this last week. Um, I'll also be doing a video similar to this for the ballpoint spot language I've been using for the past week. I just have time to get time to record that video. So if you guys want to stay around for that, subscribe so you do not miss that. Um, so yeah, it's it has a very very slow fire rate, and even though if you do spam like the shoot button on like the controller, or whatever you're using the Joy-Con, or if you're using the controller. Um, there is like a one or two second delay between each time you throw a blob of ink, um, which it really does hold the weapon back. I think it would be an insanely better weapon if it had a slightly faster fire rate. Um, in my opinion, it's like the range blaster of the, of the slosher class, honestly. It's the slowest uh, fire rate out of any, any weapon in its class. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my analogy on that, I guess. Um, it's good at range, it's a good support weapon, I think. I, it has a pretty good set, which it, you don't see here, but it has a sub of Sprinkler, uh, which also the Slosher Deco has. The Sprinkler did get a slight nerf in this last patch, or like a couple patches ago, where it sprays a little bit less ink. But it's a good sub to have on a weapon that has a pretty high special power, and you can just throw it out. It's great for Clam Blitz. This weapon is great for Clam Blitz. If you guys want a really, really solid weapon to rank up in Clam Blitz, the Explosure is that weapon. Um, it has the bubbles. Bubbles are great, and I think with this set, it really brings out uh, the potential of its special weapon. I think this set, at least for its special, is absolutely required to get the max potential out of the weapon, um, which I'll go over here in like a minute. Um, and the sprinkler ain't bad either. It's great for covering turf and clam blitz. You always want to have turf control and clam blitz, and I think the sprinkler sub on the weapon, um, and combined with this set that I'm going to go over, really brings out the sub in the weapon as well. I think it uses the max potential. Um, I think the probably the best mode. I guess you can use it also in splat zones. It's decent in splat zones, but I think from priority and like the best like mode you can use it in is clam blitz. 
I think that's where it shines the most, honestly, in my opinion. Not saying you can't use it in any other mode, but I think Clam Blitz is good. I think Tower Control it wouldn't be bad either. I mean, you can get Rex off the tower, or indirects off the tower, and get ship damage. Um, I just think it doesn't have enough range. It it has decent range, but I don't think it has like Rapid Blaster Pro range to the point where you can just sit there and spam it towards the tower and try getting damage. It's not that broken. Uh, <coughs> nerf the Rapid Blaster Pro, uh, which will be getting. <laughs> I'm I bet you guys. I bet you by guys the top, like the bottom dollar. The next patch, the Rapid Blaster Pro is going to get some type of nerf. I can tell you the guys that right now, unfortunately. I don't want it to happen, but I think it will. Uh, I'm going to go over the set right now for you guys. Um, I'm running a main, uh, for the least for the headgear, a main of uh, comeback, three subs of run speed, uh, ink saver main, main for my shirt, uh, three subs of swim speed, object shredder for my shoes, and three subs of ink recovery up. Now, this is one of those weapons to where there's not really too many options you can really put on your set, honestly. Um, it all depends on your playstyle as well. I think this set really does fit my playstyle, and that's overall uh, what I've been really... It's been really good, at least, with my playstyle. I think it helps it pretty good. It all, again, this video does depend on your playstyle. If you play a little bit more aggressive, you might want to throw like a little bit more Ink Saver Main or Ink Recovery on the set and take away either Run Speed or Swim Speed. Um, me, I try to, I, I'm like middle ground, I play aggressive at times when I need to, otherwise I stay back with the weapon and it's more of a support type backliner weapon. Um, that's what, I can play either, that's usually what I do with the weapon, um, at least from what I, my play style. Object Shredder, let's go over the shoots first. Object Shredder, I think, is really a requirement for any set that you use with Explosion. The reason being is, if you use it without Object Shredder, it takes forever. It takes absolutely forever to pop your bubbles. If you want to pop your bu bubbles quick, you need to use Optic Shredder. Um, it also, I guess, it has a niche use, I guess, against Ink Armor. But mainly, if you want to pop your bubbles quick, um, the slow fire rate on the weapon doesn't help it any ton, any ton, and it really hinders the weapon from like popping bubbles quick. It's not like the squeezer where you can just sit there and pop bubbles really quick, even without um, Optic Shredder. It has such a slow fire rate to the point where you're trying to pop your bubbles without object shredder. There's a large chance that someone's going to jump you, or you're going to get spotted, or you're going to end up getting killed during a firefight that you'll probably lose at close range. Um, that's something you don't, do not want to have. Believe me, I tried it without object shredder, and I think with object shredder it makes the weapon so much better because you're able to pop the bubbles so much quicker. I think it's a requirement for any set for the explosion. Three mains or three subs of ink recovery again I it's kind of one of those ink heavy weapons it's it's kind of a gas guzzler I think the ink recovery kinda helps us get a little bit more ink back um, in a little bit quicker time to normally what you would have kind of self-explanatory there I guess if you wanted to run like quick super jump you if you're a person that likes to super jump out a lot or pretty much anything else there if you really wanted super jump maybe special charge up I don't think it's really required for this weapon though maybe special power up to get a little bit bigger bubbles. I don't think it's really worth it. I'll, you know, I don't get too much for using three subs on your set. Uh, let's go over the shirt. Ink Saver Main. Overall, it just gives you a lot more um, flexibility and a little bit more ability to pretty much uh, throw ink a lot longer. Uh, say you're pretty much at like half a tank with one main of Ink Saver Main uh, that turns in like, I think, four throws into like six or seven throws. So say you're getting three directs, you need to get three indirects on a first, I keep saying directs, three indirects on a first to kill them. Um, instead of having four throws and possibly not getting three direct indirects, um, you have a chance to get all three indirects now because you're able to throw six to seven more uh, blobs of ink at somebody. So at least it does, does a lot more for me. I'm able to throw a lot more ink at like low range, especially if I'm throwing like a sprinkler or um, just being low on ink in general. Swim speed lets you go a little bit faster. I just like swim speed in general. It's probably one of the best abilities in the game. Not really too much to say about that. Um, I'm running comeback. Comeback, comeback actually did get a little bit of a nerf this last, I think, three point little patch, but it's still a great thing to have, uh, especially after respawn. It boosts your abilities after respawn for a short time. It's just great for the weapon to have. It allows you to get on the battlefield a lot more, especially just because you're not on this set at least for what I'm running. You're not running any quick super jump or stealth jump or anything to get out there really quick, so it helps you get out there a lot quicker, especially with 
three subs of swim speed. And I'm running run speed just for things like uh, this weapon's really, really good on Schellendorf in this Institute uh, up on the top of the Schellendorf on like the, um, the roof. And it's great on places like uh, Cam Triggerfish where there's a lot of places where you can't like swim through ink. There's a lot of uninkable spots. I think run speed is great for that. It gives you a lot more mobility. Um, when firing and able to move a lot quicker on those kind of, kinds of parts of the track um, and also this fits my place so I really like a run speed with the weapon again you could probably change this out for maybe a little bit of sub saber if you use a sprinkler a lot more or maybe like I said quick super jump special saber a few different things you can plug in there but um, just for my set of run speed is what I wanted to put on the set um, I guess also Gobi Arena a lot, has a lot of un uninkable spots on it as well it just helps overall with those um, yeah, but apart from that, not really too much else to go over, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the weapon down below. Let me know some of your guys' sets in the comment section down below. That'd be great. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video and you made it this far, drop a like. That'd be greatly appreciated if you are new. Subscribe. I'll catch you guys in a different video. Peace.